Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The Cool Board. On this week's Cool Board, we have customs, customs, and customs. That's right, on this week's Cool Board I have 12 items, whether they are Korean customs, Western customs, or Chinese customs. We're going to find a place for them on The Cool Board. So, how cool are these keyboards? Let's see. Last week was GMK on GMK on GMK. That was some pretty good. We've got a lot of GMK sets up on the board. But now, we have some customs, customs, and customs. What are they going to fit? Let's find out together. For anyone who is new to the cool board, I have items in my hand. I have a board that ranks things for how cool they are, whether they're a wow, cool, meh, or yikes. And with my judgment combined with yours, we're going to find out where things fit on the cool board, okay? This is going to be going to do this going to do a random shuffle, okay? I see a uh, I see good friend Top Clock is in chat, which is a great there's a talk show you guys should uh, watch if you guys aren't already watching. Okay? Top Clock either it's Brian or Jay, but at this time zone, I'm guessing right now it's Brian. Tell me when to stop shuffling. You have a 6 second delay, so this will be good. I'll be shuffling. And then, and then we're gonna, then we're gonna get started. It, Brian, tell me when to stop shuffling, Brian. He said, "Let's get ready to rumble." I'm gonna take that as the. Uh, oh, he's to go and and. Hi, Olivia. Now, okay. The first item for today is a Korean keyboard. It is a split keyboard, perhaps one of the most popular split keyboards in this community, with one major flaw, having a SATA port connect both halves. But regardless of that, people still love this keyboard. It looks great, and there's everyone's looking forward to version two. Designed by Oddforge, this is the VEA. Ooh. Where does the VEA fall on the cool board? Honestly, I like this board. I used to own it. I did sell it, but I used to own it. I really liked it when I had it. Um, a SATA connector connecting both halves. It's a yikes, right? But the rest of the keyboard is amazing. The RGB glow works really, really well. Um, it, it's a nice feeling board overall. Top mount plates. Um, but oh man, that SATA connector. And the worst part is, like, we know for VEA2, they're probably still going to keep it. So, I mean, like, where does the v Does how cool it looks and kind of is in the general design, does that, does that surpass the fact? Does that make up for the fact that it is SATA port, a SATA connector between them? Ah. <sighs> What do you guys think? There's a very dramatic light underneath now. Still meh? In between cool and meh? What do you guys think? Cool? Well, you guys are pretty on the spectrum for this one. A lot of people think, a lot of people in chat are thinking that SATA cable kills everything about it. You know, throw it to, throw it to, um, throw it to the left side. Um, some people saying, you know what, regardless of that, it should still be over there. I don't think really anyone said, wow, we a good amount of cool meh, between cool and meh, maybe a solid meh. So, you know what? I'm going to put some of my judgment. I don't think it's going to be a yikes, you know? SATA is annoying, but here's the thing. If, you're, if anyone here is in a like, custom PC building, you know you can get a really, really cool looking VEA uh, SATA cable. Those exist. People, you know, mod their keyboards as much as people mod uh, PCs as much as they mod keyboards. At least you can get a cool SATA cable is an option. But... Ah, <sighs> 75% layouts with artisan cluster on the side. Uh, I, I'm going to put it meh leading toward cool. There's a bit, there's a special spot in my heart that likes that cool. There's a cool part of it that I do like. It's very convenient. I didn't even get my pins out. What am I doing today? I'm not even prepared. Where are my pins? I don't even know where my pins are actually. Guys, how do I do this show? How are my pins? We're okay. We're okay, everyone. 
we're okay. So I think it's gonna be mad leading toward cool. I'm thinking here. Also, this is where I'm thinking. Well, this is level mic. I can't level my cam. There's 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 issues with with my camera and why it can't be leveled right now. Like, ow. There there are legitimate issues with my current setup that I can't really address. That's all I can say. Unfortunately. Um. What do you guys think? More meh than this? Maybe like here-ish then? Near the Monarch Alps keyboard? Yeah? Okay. Looks like you guys are in a good amount of agreement on where this is. Okay. Let's choose a random person in chat. Um... Meow Go, are you still there? You are there, Meow Go. Okay, Meow Go, tell me when to stop shuffling. I'll pick whichever one I see when you say stop. Paul XJ, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime subscription. Hey, Steo, okay. I'm missing Steo is stop. So we're gonna go with this one. Um, what is this one? This is a split. Chinese design board designed by Sirius, S I R I U S, and manufactured by ALF. This is the this is a split keyboard that is completely wireless. Complete. I reviewed. I, I've done a two part review of this. Completely wireless. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, who knows? That could be up to you. It's wireless using the Logitech receiving controllers, um, which is a pretty good wireless system. Better than Bluetooth, in my opinion. Um, but there's no port. There's no way to like fix it if it dies. Basically, it's the Unigo 66. Where's the Unigo 66? Fall on the cool board. Where does it fall? It is a essentially ortholinear with big modifiers. The thumb clusters are much tighter in than the um, than like an Ergodox. Cool, we got a lot of cools out of the gates. A lot of cools out of the gates. Is, is the Unigo 66 cool? Oof, talk talk with a tier one sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, meh, cool, cool. What do you, what, 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 what dost thou think? I was saying a lot of cools in chat. In between men, cool. I'm, I'm surprised how many people are actually saying this is cool. Like, a little bit surprised. A little bit surprised. One of the cooler split boards, very low cool. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually, I thought it would be more meh slash yikes, but you guys are really liking it. It is a two piece case. The, case, the plate is integrated with the top. Um, it's hot swap as well. Um, well, yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool then looks like. Uh, but how cool? Like, is it duck octagon cool? Or is it on the lower side of cool, like where Hydro is, or Muted? Or is it like pretty high up, you know, like Honeywell, under Yosh, rip part three. The part three will come eventually, Olivia, oh, eventually. Under DCS Coffee, someone pinged me. I went too fast. You have a four by three cork board. Oh, what? You got me a new cork board? Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Richard Petrov. It's gray as well. Wow, oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, wow, thank you so much for the uh, support. That's awesome. Cool board. Uh, Unigo 66. Is this going to be the low side of cool? Is that what you guys are saying? Like around here? Or is it like a bit lower in this column? Like here. Is it lower or higher in this column? <laughs> It'll also be easier once I start taking all these big silver tacks and replace them with these smaller brass ones that are like low profile. So I don't have to worry about like this. Maybe around NK cream switches? Where's, where did, oh, okay, over here. I feel like look for things on this board. But much love, Petrov. Thank you, thank you. What are you guys thinking? 
high side, medium side, low side of. I think the, the general. This is the general feel. I see. That's gonna. Where? I, where did that even fall from? Nope. Well, I guess that fell from here, but it's still attached. So, if anyone has any, unless anyone has any objections, I'm put up here. I'll put it up here. Lower says nebulance. Hmm. Hmm. Lower? How much lower? Do you guys think? No, no. Nebulant believes it should be lower than this. Do you guys agree or disagree with nebulant? I like how I can only see four lines of chat right now at a time because of my screen size. I don't know what things people are saying. I need to like go over here to read. Right there, perfect. Slightly less cool than novelty creams. Yeah, this would be less cool than novelty creams. Like, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, Nebulant, but it's, it's, it's the world versus Nebulant round seven. Okay. Okay, Mr. Petrov, it's your turn. Let me know when you'd like me to stop shuffling. And, and then we're gonna, we're gonna go for it. Be back dinner. Oh, okay, stop. This next keyboard is it? It is a custom, a custom, and a custom. This is the only board I have on this list that fits all three categories, okay? This board, I defined as too many chefs, okay? This is the board that took bezels way too far when they were getting popular. It's a 65% that you either really love it or you really hate it. Designed by... Rama, TGR, um, Ascenic, and run by um, Originative, it is the Exempt. Where does the Exempt fall on the cool board? Like, like, look at that. You can even tell in this tiny picture, that bezel ratio. That, oh, <laughs> a lot of early, a lot of early yikes. That bezel ratio. The bottom is acrylic, so it's great under glowiness. The top is just a lot of aluminum. Um, the plate that it comes with, I believe it came with a steel or maybe brass plates. <laughs> Gourmet cracked acrylic. A lot of people did have issues with the cracked acrylic from shipping, from over tightening. Um, and people had assembly issues themselves with that. Um, what do you guys think? The board sounds pretty cool. The look, I think, is a bit much. Half an inch too much on each side. Um, yeah. I, this is, I think it went too far with the bezel. I think for a lot of people, it's like a wow or yikes kind of thing, just straight back or forth. Um, but, uh, definitely more yikes than, than likes in chat. Has science gone too far? Uh, well... The, f the four designers of this basically did. Um, so I'm going to say this is a... Is this a yikes meh? Or is there something res something about this that brings it up? It's like a fashion statement to you. It's a cool board, says me, I'll go. I, built, I did build one on stream for Olivia a while back. Um, that bezel's redonkulous. Re... Redonkulous. Um, absolutely redonkulous. See, Gio, you say that, but that one was made literally as a parody, while this one was made in earnest attempt. More so. Uh, it's a fashion statement, big bezel, big meh. Bigger the bezel, bigger the meh. <laughs> Olivia, it's one of your favorites. I mean, for people with smaller wrists, like for me, 
the big bezel on the bottom actually did act as a wrist rest because I do not have, you know, I have, I have Asian hands. That's, that's, so for, for me, it was actually a wrist rest. I know for people with larger hands, that bottom bezel actually kind of can get in the way if you like resting your arms and wrists down. Um, where's this going? Is this, is this straight mid? Is this, is the exempt just the epitome of meh? Is it like on the meh? Or is it just like around is it closer to cool by Blue Alps? Or maybe it's like by an Ergodox? At least put it in a blank area. There are very, there are not many blank areas, unfortunately, on this board. <laughs> it really is in a class of its own. Like, yikes, meh. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see the. I mean, I'm some on some more feelers and feelers and chats. Smike, smack in the middle of yikes and meh. Like here, some people are saying hard yikes, which is like, I don't know if, I don't like the board. I'm not sure if I'd give it a really hard yike though. Move all the boards out of the way because all the bezels take up way too much space. <laughs> Let Olivia decide where it goes. If Olivia decided, Olivia would say, Huey, put it, put it in the wow yikes category. But that's what she would say. Put it in the wow yikes category. I just tear it in half and put one pin on each. Just split it up. <laughs> it's on the back of the board. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put it. It's. I'm gonna put it on the mech category. I'm. 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 I'm putting it here. I'm putting it here. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm, put, I'm doing an executive decision for this one. That's the man of interest executive decision. Okay, Olivia. It's your turn to pick when for me to stop. And Burhiwi is back. <laughs> Olivia, uh, y y Yamate, okay. We stopped on here then. This next board is by a very prolific Korean designer who has made boards in 60% that's been popular, in TKLs that have been popular, in TKL plus extra bullshit that have been very popular, in 96 key that have been very popular. This designer, easily confused with an animal. But, but not an animal. Um, this keyboard is also an animal. The same kind as the designer. 60% plus arrows plus numpad. 1800 style numpad. What am I? A duck blackbird. A jet fire zerpocalypse is not the same kind of animal as a duck. <laughs> a blackbird is a bird like a duck. That's all I was going for. Um, but the duck blackbird, where does it stand on the cool wall? Um, I, I kind of feel, <laughs> uh, I, I, do, I do regret not getting this keyboard to be honest. It's cool underglow, seven degree board, so it's not as, not as aggressive, which is much more friendlier with a lot of people. They have two, you know, Artisan keys between the uh, numpad and the main typing cluster. Main typing cluster is 60%. There is both an HHKB blocked version and a full 60% blocked version as well. Top mounted, uses duck signature, duck move of having a bad PCB, but just build it once and be happy with it. Um, and what do you guys think? I think it's pretty cool. I honestly regret not getting in on this keyboard. It's one of the boards I'm like, I don't like duck boards that much to a degree because like they can have hit or miss anodization quality, very hit or miss PCB quality. But like in terms of like this board, using it, looking at it, I when I go to meetups, I look at this board, I'm like, I should have got that board. Oh, I could have got this board. Big regret that I didn't. It's a cool board. It is a cool board. Is it the coolest board we've had? Uh, probably not. 
Mm, maybe. Is it in the wow? Is it a wow? That's, that's question one to everyone in chat. Is the duck blackboard a wow kind of board? Or maybe a high cool? Well, I'll only just say not a wow. No, yes. No. Not wow, very high cool. No. Low, mid, cool at best. Let's think. The duck blackboard. Sorry, that's just the George, doing George things. It's a wow. Hmm. Bottom wow? I don't know why he's barking. I don't know why he's upset. He's just... Put George on the board. Okay, definitely at least somewhere in the cool. Somewhere, somewhere in the cool. That's high, high man. I, I think that's, it's, it is at least a low cool. I'm sorry, that's, that's the executive, which is, it's going to be on this side of, this side of the board. This side of the board, for sure, for sure. Okay, let's, let's go through. Is the Blackbird cooler than the Octagon V2? Okay, let's just compare Duck with himself. Is it cooler than the Octagon V2? Yes. Ah, so Octagon V2, if you don't know, we did we did it near the beginning. Um, 75%. So, so people are saying it's as cool. So at least it's equal to or greater than the Duck Octagon. Okay, so let's move up the same column. Is it... You guys put the M65A cooler than the Duck Octagon. Is it cooler than that? I'd say yes. We go above that same column. Is it cooler than the Mech 27 V2? Is the Orion on the list? Uh, no, I do not believe so. Is it cooler than the Mech 27 V2? Yes, no. Yes. Is it cooler than Nalki's cream switches? No. Low cool. Brian's like the buck stops here. You're going to, you're going too cool with this. <laughs> okay, I, w I want Brian. I want you to lay out your case because there are quite a few people who say medium cool to high cool. I think you're one, you're one of the few people who say low cool. I want to hear this. I want, I want to hear as well as if you guys have opinions on why it should be a medium or low cool. Like, I want to hear why. Whether it's like, I don't like this, or you like this. I want to hear why you guys, how you, why you guys feel how you do about this board. Because I think that's very important for this community. Think about your, your tastes. I like this if it was the blocked version. This is not pictured the blocked version. Um, I do some number crunching and video editing, hence numpad is useful for me. It's a very interesting layout. Because Orion is the coolest duck board and it's mid cool. That's a good reason. That's, that's actually a pretty good reason. The, the Orion is a pretty cool duck born. I like the Viper more. But I understand. I understand where you're coming from with that. Star, you like has a very interesting layout. Brian has spoken. So by fault, Blackbird must be lower. Well, the Orion's not on. So when it gets there, when we get to it in a future episode or in this episode, I don't know if I printed it today, then we can fight it. But let's pin it. So people are saying between Mech 27 and M65A. Like here area, does that sound right? Basically smack dab of cool. The layout on the Blackbird is really nice. It isn't a crazy angle. It is a good reason to like it compared to a lot of the other above the Mech 27. I think that's the real question now, above or below the Mech 27. Mech 27 is right here. So near the middle of the cool, middle of cool, but a little bit higher than halfway. That's kind of that's kind of where we're at. That's kind of where we're at today. That's where we're at. Right here, below, or right here above, or like even above Novel Keys Cream Switches. Below, below. Okay, we've got like, I think about cooler than M27. Oof, Olivia, selling out fellow Canadian. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, I, I, I as well will say it's cooler than the Mech 27. I'm just going to move the novel key crimp switches up a little bit just so I can fit it. Right there. That's going to be the Huey decision right there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're newts. Okay. Nebulent, it's your turn, Nebulent. Tell me when you'd like me to stop shuffling as I keep tripping on cables. Well, he has a point. Stop. Okay, this next board is a TKL that I own. It was one of, if not, yeah, it's one of the first TKLs that was available in e-white color, which should already give you a clue that is a custom, not a custom or custom. E-white color, and one of the most notable things wasn't, wasn't the first with e-white, but it was one of the first with e-white. It started as a China-only group buy for the round one. Um, round two was a private group buy that had a very controversial open up on mass drop for a few units. Um, but the most ex amazing looking parts are is the weight. The weight is a very large block and the, top, the sides and bottom have cutouts for it. It's the X11, available in E-White with really cool side cutout for the weight, which is one singular piece. Like this and this are the same piece. And this, it's also the same piece. They're all the same piece. So the size that you see here, this brass, this brass, this it's all the same piece of brass. One big piece of brass all the way across. E-whites, how cool is the Alpha X11? I will say, compared to a lot of other TKLs I have, um, the, the keycaps do the plate does sit a bit lower than some other TKLs. Um, as you can see, when I push down on the up arrow, the front part of the up arrow goes under the cutout. So how cool is the ALF X11? And USB-C. Uh, this part for the private round isn't, this is not brass. This is like acrylic and there's an LED underneath. So this like shines the ALF logo very loudly. So how cool is the X11 everyone? It's legit, it's legit hard to correctly place because it's wearing Olivia. <laughs> it's cool, normal, mid cool, low cool without Olivia. Cool, meh, meh cool. Meh cool alpha on the front is the yikes. Strip the Olivia. Standard gold PVD. Yep, the standard gold PVD is correct. Cover up the Blackbird that is placed too high with the 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one right here. The blankish area, the top near the middle of meh cool. This, this area? Put it with the exempts higher sisterson. <laughs> Too high. Neck cool is fine. Left of Unigo sixty six. Hmm, how cool is the... I like I like E-White. E-White's one of those finishes where I think if, you, if you're let down by Mao, E-White will pick you back up. If, you like, if, if you're like promised a white, right, and you weren't know it, and you thought, you know, Mao was white like they originally advertised, um, but you were let down, I think E-White is like, oh, this is white. Nice. Now is great if you like gray. Um, I like like really like concrete gray almost, um, but it's not white like it was originally advertised as. Um, 
Oh, Alf X11. I think it's going to be somewhere in the cool side. I like it as a board. I built mine with a polycarb plate, top mounted. Awesome possum. The giant weight on the bottom is really, really cool. The LED does have underglow. Um, PCB does have underglow, so you can replace that giant brass weight with a giant acrylic weight that have glowiness from all the sides. Um, and it even has it on the front lip right here as well. So it'd be like glowy, glowy. Um, the back wouldn't matter because you wouldn't see it, but glowy, or the bottom wouldn't matter, I mean. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's cool, I'm say it's cool. How cool? You know what? I'm gonna go with, with Brian's suggestion and cover up the Blackbird with the Alpha X11. Bam! Green eggs and ham. Okay. We're moving, moving along. We got some more. How much have we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, we, got, we still got a good amount, everyone. We still got a good amount. Is there apocalypse? Are you, are you still there, bud? Yeah, okay, is there apocalypse? It's, it's your turn. Tell me when. Tell me when to stop. Okay, this next board is a custom designed by Fox Lab. It is it Fox Lab? I think it's Fox Lab. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, this was designed to be a timeless TKL. Um, exquisites. A lot of machining. Um, people love it or people hate it. You get. You guys know. It's a time TKL. And really when I have the picture of it, I only need to put the picture of the bottom of the keyboard because really you don't need to see the rest. This is, this is why you bought the board if you bought the board or if you like the board. Got a lot of mez in chat. Uh, yikes. Had potential, execution was flawed. Very fair assessment. Weight action itself is wow. Rest of the board is meh. Yeah. Yeah. The black anno isn't that great. Um, as a heads up to anyone. QC issues with the weight are yikes. There definitely was a lot of issues with the weights I've seen with people. High meh for not, for ju not just doing a basic bottom. Your rock clubs like the finishing. Time decal is one of those boards where, like, if you didn't get black on gold or gold, the gold accent with black, what are you doing with your life? Um, for its efforts, high, mid high meh, not a Swiss movement equals yikes. <laughs> oof, oof. Okay, so how cool is the time TKL? Uh, apparently, according to everyone in chat, uh, not that cool. It's fair. Not that cool. I would, I'm pretty bored to say it's not that cool. Um, finishing had QSA issues, issue, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say it's not that cool. Um, okay. Is it as cool as the exempt? Cool concept, yikes, executes. Well, is this, I think a good comparison is exempt. Is this cooler or not? Is not cooler according to Apocalypse? Is it worse? Right above Keyboard & Co. What, so is everyone saying it's same level as Exent? The clock didn't even work worse. Exent is at least a novelty. <laughs> Very meh. Same column, but bottom. So like just right under right under Exents or like lower in the same column. Like, is it cooler than the Ace Pad Tech Hall Effect keyboard? <laughs> because... Probably. Probably. <laughs> yeah, I think right under the exempt is actually a pretty good 
possibly a pretty good spot. No, it's not. Brain says yes, heart says no for AP2Ds. Well, so, some of you guys think it's not as cool is less cool than the AcePad Tech Hall Effect keyboard as well, which I guess has its coolness in at least, you know, trying to revive a technology, but failing utterly and completely. Less cool than the Exent. Okay, I think we're all in agreement. It's somewhat less cool in the Exent, less cool in the Exents, whether it's this way, same column, or even this left. So it's, it's solidly a yikes then, if it's, gonna be less, if it's gonna be less cool in the horizontal direction, which looks like you guys are leaning to actually. So, is the time TKL a yikes? Is this approaching yikes territory? I, I, I struggle to want to call it a yikes keyboard. I really do. I really think it's maybe in like JTK purple one white category where it's like, that's a cool thing you tried to do, but it's whack, right? Like JTK purple one white is kind of like that in that same vein where it's like, yeah, it tried. How it just, under not yikes I don't think it's a yikes right I think it's like on maybe on the border though kind of like where it exempts the road to hell is paved with good intentions yeah under exempts I think is a pretty good spot I don't think it's cool um, so here we go now I'm just gonna fix the purple and white pin there we go Is top of the board better? Um, so for those of you who are joining in, um, the more right you go, the better it is. But as you go right, things within the column are like the same tier of coolness, just organized within how cool. So like time TKL and exempt, they're in the same tier of coolness roughly, but the exempt is better than the time TKL. But like for example, um, Skedata, even though it's very low, it is more right than exempt, so Skedata is cooler than the exempt. So right to left has priority to top and bottom, as a, as a, as a heads up. Okay. So let's pick a random name in chats. Let's pick, it's, it's just complicated because it's uh, crowded. L Langaladia, Langalandia. Langlandia. Are you still are you still here, buddy? Stop. Okay. Langlandia said uh stop. So your kid walked away. <laughs> Our next board is by a very prolific and very famous designer. This designer was was so ballsy. This designer said, I'm going to make a keyboard. I'm not even going to show you what it is, and you're going to buy it. And people did. Um, that's not the keyboard in hand, but this is probably one of the most popular keyboards by this designer. It's a TKL, three letters. It is an LZ CLS, JH JHTV, out of nowhere with the correct answer. Yes. How cool is the LZ CLS on the cool board? I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. Like this is like one of the, like the best LZ boards I've typed on at meetups. It does have a very kind of plain look to it. Pretty cool, cool but outdated. Uh, kind of accurate. It is to a degree accurate. Um, wow, middle cool. Does even the history or the designer behind it boost it past more than the board itself? Mid cool cool. You guys are pretty solidly in the middle cool area for the LZ CLS. Middle cool. GMK Phantom area. Cooler than GMK Phantom. Matt, because of the price. Just yes, says Talisman. Very close. LZ CLS. I do think it's maybe around here. Where around here in particular? Mm, 
let's say no it's not cooler than brown alps i'll say it's just right around phantom let me just move this m65a tag because it doesn't need to be there it's not holding anything up anymore No, I don't think it's above Phantom, because right above Phantom is Brown Alps, and, uh, yeah. I thought this might have fallen under cool. That's kind of surprising. What in the board is in the WoW section? Uh, the Zephyr is in the WoW section, and the Jur A06, and the Rama Works M6A. Um, cooler than Yosh. Yeah, it is cooler than Yosh. For sure, I agree with that. Um, okay. Next up, Jeff, Jay Shuff, it is your turn to tell me when to stop shuffling for our next keyboard. Okay, this next board is a Chustum, and the unique thing about this TKL is it was, it caught people's eye because you can get a dual tone andization. A lot of people complain that the implementation of this gradient anodization wasn't the best, but it's still very novel to this day, where people don't try it, and I kind of wish they did. Uh, designed by um, Fox Labs, again, I believe, is the Leaf 80. Like, how cool that is. If it was more gradient, it'd be even better, but I still do think that's pretty cool how it was like from purple to blue. Um, it does have a nice weight on the bottom. I have a picture of that. Um, I, I really hope they <laughs> call me into that. <laughs> it was it was it was your luck of the draw. So Leaf 80, how cool is a Leaf 80? Ambitious, priced well. It was, it was priced well, definitely. Gradient is more two tone than gradient. Yes, that's why I said it was a two tone. Um, because yeah, it, it didn't turn out to be a full gradient, which would have been really really nice. Right below Yolsh. Down here. Cooler than Yolsh. Has Alps compatibility. Yep, it does have Alps compatibility. Although you'd have to do something with the plate. Or get you get to get a different plate, I believe, to get it to work. Above Yolsh. Correct right here. Cooler than the Octagon 2? Yeah, I, I, I believe that. So maybe around here? It's pretty pretty middling in the cool area for the, for, for this Chustum. What do you guys think? Brian is very, very, very for this position. <laughs> Extremely for this position. Is your Boclips, you're, you're, you looks like you're, you're, on, you're on Brian's side. What does the rest of chat think? I think it's better than the Alf X11. If they did the gradient right, I would agree with you. I also would have bought the board if they did the gradient right. Um, <laughs> but uh, because of, because they didn't do it right, I don't think it's cooler than the Alf X11. Oh, that's a broken pin. Okay. Let's grab another pin. Better than M27 on non-gradient. Weight is cool. Came in solid colors too. Didn't it? Yes, it did come in solid colors. You guys can judge it by the solid color versions. I do think the gradient one is still cool. Even even the two-tone is cooler than any of the solid options. I think, at least. But it was still nicely priced for a solid one color. You have E-Black one. That's nice. Maybe this, the, the exact same level as the Mech 27. Or is it not as cool? I think Brian is pretty, pretty, pretty in the belief that it's between Mech 27 and Octagon V2 level, which is basically around M65 level. 
weight is also very cool. Another balloon you like the gradient as is. I, I like it as is. I don't like it as much as it could. Um, yeah, I'm going to put it somewhere in between, though. I am going to put it somewhere in between. But right here. A little bit higher than right above the Duck Octagon V2. Okay, Pilot XJ, it's your turn. Tell me when you'd like me to stop. Okay. I have stops. This board is the last Ergo board that we're going to talk about tonight by one of the most famous designers in our community. And I think it was one of the first Ergo boards by a big prolific designer that started causing other big designers to try out ergonomic layouts. Um, heck, it kind of inspired to a small degree uh, the Alice, which is like the most popular one. Um, it's not the Alice. Brian is correct. It is in fact the LZ Ergo, a Korean board. EM7 also is in that same boat. It's just said slightly. EM7 is definitely more of more of the uh, of the influence. It's the LZ Ergo though. LZ Ergo. Where does it fall? It does have a pretty big, beefy body. Some people didn't like that because some people said it was too chunky, whereas, you know, they like the Alice because the Alice, even though it's kind of weird, it's still very sleek. Some people do believe it's very cool because of that. Some people think it's not as cool because of that and it's like too much going on. It is a split TKL going on. One tier down from the Zephyr. High cool, solid cool. No one, no one is saying it's wow. I want to say it's solid or cool. Cooler than the Octagon for sure. Solidly cool. Had to go look. So the thing with the Ergo is they didn't do anything with the stagger that's different. They took the TKL, they chunked it in half, and made it like this. Which is standard what you do for an ergonomic. Right under the M6A. Could be. Alice is clearly a wow. LZ Ergo has to be cool. It's chunky off balance. Meh. It's a pretty nice board. It's a pretty nice board. LZ makes pretty good stuff. Even if you don't like his prices, he still does make pretty, pretty good stuff. Above the Jur. Ooh. Hmm. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know. It's not, it's not above the Jur. Between Jur and M6A, that's that's more of a possibility. I do think, I do think it's it's possibly like a, around here to be honest. I think it's like it is in a lower WoW tier. Um, that's what I'm thinking. On the same level as Honeywell, so the cusp of what cool and WoW. So Honeywell cool, but not as cool as Taro. What is, is what Brian is currently saying. That's, I don't think this needs to be here. Nothing going to fall. Nothing going to fall. I think you guys are saying basically around here. Or around here. But whether or not it goes like past this kind of imaginary blob is the biggest difference. Is it a really high cool board? Or is it on? Is it, or it just made the, the cut for being a wow. Like, do you think you'd be wowed by this at a meetup? Have you been wowed by this at a meetup? I've been wowed by this keyboard at a meetup, to be honest. I think it's freaking amazing. Um, so personally, myself, I'm leaning toward the wow. I'm leaning toward the wow. I don't think it has the best ergo design. I still think it's a nicely designed keyboard, though. So, I think I'm going to put it not under Jur, but above the M6A. That's going to be, so it's definitely, it's, it's a wow. The LZ Ergo is a low wow. Cooler than the M6A, for sure.
Oakley Dokley. Talisman Solution. Are you still there, bud? Yes, you are. Perfect. Let me know when you'd like me to stop shuffling. Okay, I have stops. This next TKL is a doozy. Um, this, this design group has been extremely prolific lately. Um, and it's been, aside from the first run, which they didn't personally handle the logistics of, that run had issues with boxes, um, oddly enough. Crazy, it takes a month to get boxes. Um, but this is a custom with a C. It's the Key Colt number one, the gasket mounted beauty. How cool is the Key Colt number one? Gotta go. Wow's in chat. Wow's in chat. Easy wow. I agree. This is, this is definitely a wow. I, I don't have one. I've never typed on one. I still think it's a wow. You know, I still think it's a wow. How wow? Is it the wowest thing that we've had? It could be. It very well could be. I can't make that assessment because I've never tried one, right? I will at the meetup. Sure, I'll, I'll definitely borrow yours. But some of you guys may have one yourself or have tried it. Do you guys think it's cooler than the Zephyr? That's the coolest thing on the board right now. So I, I want to hear what you guys think. A lot of you are saying, yeah, it's definitely cooler than the Zephyr. Pilot says, it's limited availability slash numbers has to lower it. Hmm. Brian says, as cool as a Zephyr, you've never used both. Above Zephyr, high wow. So, yeah, that's, that's a good point. Is it is the coolness moved any lower for anyone, for you guys, that, um, does it lower it because it's harder to get? Kind of for some people, they, don't, they think a board could be less cool because it's like, oh, can't do it with that extra shivery. But some people do think, you know, hey, it's rarer. If I have it, that makes it even cooler. It makes, it, makes each unit that much more special. It's a mindset thing, of course. So, key cool, number one. So, it's at least as cool, if not cooler, than the Zephyr. I'm going to put it above the Zephyr. I trust you guys. In the same tier of coolness, but above. We're like near the near the top right here. Yeah. What do you guys think maybe it should be like cooler or like lower in the next tier? Because I have things that I believe are definitely way cooler than the Keycolt number one. And that's because I haven't used this. A hair more wow than the Zephyr. Just above the Zephyr. I think it's above the Zephyr. I'm just gonna say it's a just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna a lot of people are definitely bringing a lot of hype, and I'm gonna for a second believe your guys' is hype and say it's not just right here, but move, move it up here, right here, above the Zephyr. So I think it's some something like that, something like that. Two items left, everyone. Two items left. Okay, I'm going to choose the last two. This next one, also by a Korean. We've already covered many of his boards on this one. Now, I wanted to cover this one because I like this board. And I think this board is very polarizing for people. Imagine a TKL, but someone turned it into a scrambled eggs around the side. Um, I don't know why that's my description for it. What's the duck? TCV3. There aren't many like it. There aren't anything like it. Um, it's the Duck TCV3. How cool is the Duck TCV3? Yikes, says JH. Now goes as high cool star, you like it. I think it's polarizing, and the fact that it's polarizing 
is unique, and that's why I do. That's, I, I do like bringing polarizing things on the show. Low cool, low cool, cool. You want to like it? It's like there's one too many rows left uh, on the left bezel, or one too many columns. Oh, it looks like my external monitor just died. Nice. Just swapped out that battery. Well, at least I know how long it lasts. Hold on, guys. I can't read chat. Come back alive, monitor. Come back alive, chat, so I can read. Yes, it's back alive, but I don't know where my chat window went. Like the ambition, people who can would benefit from using the TCV3. Low cool. Okay, moved it back where I can see it. I do like the ambition of the TCV3. It's a board that, as a person who does video editing, I'd like very much. Um, So, it's designed for CAD designers. I think it's designed for anyone who's willing to do CAD design, video editing, photo editing, uh, between the Archon and Leaf. I think that in itself, you know, the attempt for something different. Because within these columns, you can put a lot of 2U keys. You can put 2U keys instead of 1Us, for example, if there's something that's more urgent for you to push. Push, press. Press or push. Um, So, push. Uh, between Octon and Leaf, that's, that's a pretty good plus spot, actually. Um, let's do that. Right here. Between Octon and Leaf. I like that ice is nice. That's a, that's a good call. I, I agree with you there. Do I? Yes. Committing. Committing. Okay. This last board. Last board. Maybe it worked out. Maybe the luck of the the luck of the cards worked out. This is last. I think it's a good last one to talk about. This stop. This last the last card is from a designing duo from the southern hemisphere that is beloved in the keyboard community. Um, Rama works, and this board is a 60% by them. It's been very, very popular. <laughs> Olivia, please. The M60A. It sold super high numbers. An option for a weight on the inside of it, integrated plate, hot swap, Wilba tier PCB. How cool is the M60A? I've never used one either. <laughs> I know it's a wow though. I'm I would definitely say like design wise the design I'm gonna be I'm I'm gonna be a, I'm pretentious. I'm gonna say the design language of this keyboard is so sophisticated and cool. The design language. Um so <laughs> It's it's a wow though, but we're on the wow. That's 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 the real question. Below Jur because integrated plate and hot swap. It's a high wow, says Olivia. Barely above Zephyr, says Rubber Militia. Um, below Jur. A lot of people are saying below Jur. Are you guys saying it just because like because the Jur has coolness in its own and being you know something different as a top mounted PCB mount? Um, what same? T I think it's same tier. Higher or lower than Jur is a real question. It's definitely in the same tier um, as as the Jur. You know, I think it has it brings a lot to the table, and I think there's something about the M60A that really resonated with so many people in our community. Um, I think it's more than just like the Rama effect, because I do think in the, for a lot of people, it's just cool to own something that Rama designed, but I think even past that, um, the board itself, you know, has more merit than its reputation. And I think 
it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Somewhere around Jer, I think is. I. It's hard for me to say whether or not I'd put it around the Zephyr, just because I've never used or had one. Um, so, cooler than LZ Ergo. I'm on board with that one. That's why, because just because I haven't, I, it's hard for me to say if it's cooler than the Zephyr. I don't, I don't think it is, based off what I know about the M60A. I think there's some downsides to the integrated plate design um, and some downsides to the hot swap PCB, which is what he, ha he has addressed it in the se sequence two. But of course, I'm just talking about the sequence one for now, just because sequence two hasn't shipped yet, right? But the M60A, the sequence one, I guess we can call it now, does exist in people's homes, on people's desks, on people's workspaces today. Um, and I think maybe the sequence two is cooler than the Zephyr because of the issues that they address, but at least the current ones that's out on the market right now, I wouldn't say is as cool as the Zephyr. So. <laughs> so, ah, this is really, this is really difficult. This is really difficult. Is it cooler than the Jur? That's, that's, that's the big question now. Okay, that's just, that's like, eh, that's fine. I mean, I have stuff on my bed, like, it's kind of, like, I have a freaking tripod and like, Got these pins things, and like, don't, it's okay. It's okay. I never turned the slide on. I'm an idiot, Huey. That's better. Actually, I should put this on my head. Got that dramatic fill light, backlight, but you can barely see. Um, same row. Same row as Jura A06. I think. For the sequence one, I'm gonna have to put it under the Jur. I think the Jur, because it's so unique, outshines sequence one M60A. And that's gonna be the Huey executive decision. And we will cover the sequence two when it ships. So when that happens, I will make sure this is, that's why I'm gonna I'll grab my, I got my Sharpie out. I got the Sharpie, okay? Sharpie, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write it down. S E Q one. Okay? Don't worry about my really bad handwriting. Okay, we're putting it right below. So what do you guys think of today's cool board are there any that you particularly disagree with any that you say okay yeah those do belong where they do i want to hear your thoughts about the general placement okay so for today as a summary the new wowest wow boy of them all is the key colt number one this beautiful gasket mount tkl the beautiful weight okay we got the m60a sequence one following right below the juror a definitely wow keyboard lz ergo squeaking it in the wow as well being a very solidly built and designed ergonomic keyboard okay we got the L alpha x1 in the high mid cool area and then down below we got a whole slew of boards the lz cls leaf 80 duck tc v3 all fitting in, in a pretty close cluster okay pretty close cluster what else we got we got the exempt and time tkl not being so favored by a lot of people in chat. Um, wow, yeah. What else did we cover today? I feel like we covered more than that. We did. The Unigo 66 around D DCS coffee levels. I'm, I'm missing something. We covered 12 things. I have not counted 12 things yet, have I? I like the look of number one more than, I, I do like the, no, the look of number one more than number two. Um, I think number two is still very, very beautiful. But yeah, number one I think does look better. TCV3, I did cover that one. One, one. 
kind of covered that one. So these cluster, yeah, Alpha one, one is did pretty well, and I think the, only, the, main, the main reason. Oh yeah, the Blackbird. Where do we put the Blackbird, everyone? Where'd the Blackbird go? Oh right, we covered it up by the Alpha X one one. Derp. Good call. Thank you. The ice is nice. <laughs> so. We got a we got a we got a, we got a nice nice spread of boards today, um, from low mez all the way to the highest of the wows. So that is this episode of the cool board. Hope you guys had a wonderful time today. Um, links to my Discord down below and all my other random BS. You know, insert self chill here. YouTube, Patreon, X, Y, and Z, Twitch Prime, um, subs, um, you know the drill. I've got more YouTube videos coming out very soon as well. So everyone who is watching, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope everyone has an ever so wonderful Wednesday. Uh, work on fixing the tripod and some of the lighting situation next time. Until then, next Wednesday is going to be the... Real quick, next Wednesday is going to be the last episode for this season. And the title for next episode is The Masterpieces. And next episode will be the last episode of this season. And when I bring out season two, what does that mean? Well, thanks to Mr. Petrol, that means a much larger board. As well as next episode, after next episode, we will have a full wipe of the board. And season two is going to be starting from a clean board. Talisman Solution and Jeff, thank you so much for all those bits. Holy moly, thank you, thank you. So next episode will be the masterpieces. The best of the best. All 12 items will be curated by yours, tr uh, by yours truly. So look forward to that. I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you everyone so much for joining me. See you guys next week. It's going to be fun.